Hello there, I'm Iraq here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to easily navigate through your document and your pages in CorelDRAW. Of course, this video is sponsored by Aminet Media. All right, we're in CorelDRAW right now. Page navigation is a very important lesson when it comes to designing with CorelDRAW. And there are some bunch of things you can do, some shortcuts you can use to navigate through your page and through your document uh, to make what easier for you. Okay, the first thing we'll be looking at is the pages. All right, we have some pages here, about four pages here. You can click the number of the pages to change the pages. I can click page three, goes to page three. If I click page four, which is where it was before, it goes to page four. All right, there's something you need to note here. This icons here can help you navigate by numbers to the pages if you click here it moves back to the next page all right so we're in page four right now if i click here it goes to page three all right there's page three if i click this again it goes to page two we're on page two okay so this ones will take you to the last page at the back that's the page one this will take you to the last page in the front that is page four so if I click this, it takes me to page one. This is page one. If I click this, it takes me to page four. Okay, something else you need to note here is this um, four of four is showing me the number of um, page, uh, uh, the particular page that I'm on. If you click on this, you can move directly to a particular page you want to be in. All right, let's say I want to move to page one directly. I type one in here, click OK moves me directly to page one okay like type four again click ok moves me back to page four all right so does it uh this plot sign is very significant for your workflow too let's say you want to open an extra page in front of the current page that you're on you can click on this plot sign this particular one at the right hand side if you click it, it opens a new page, a blank page for you, okay, that you can start doing another work on. So if you click this one right up, we're on page five, all right, uh, uh, let me go back to page four. If I click this one by the left, it opens a page behind page four, all right. Now, let's notice what's in page three. This is what's in page three, and this is what is in page four. So if I open it, it's going to open a page in between page three and page four that is behind page four so if i click it now that page becomes page four and the other one becomes page five the pre uh, the one that was page four before becomes page five all right you see there's a blank space this is page three still the same okay so i'm going to delete this page four to delete it you right click on it then go to delete so I delete page five too. If I right click on it, I delete it. All right. Something that's um, you need to note here is the use of the zoom tool, right? Which you can go directly here to pick it. This is the zoom tool, or you click the Z alphabet. Once you click the Z alphabet, it chooses the zoom tool for you. All right. You can use it to do your works. All right. If I left click on this place it zooms it out all right zooms it out now if you notice here is changing the percentage of the zoom this is actually showing the percentage zoom level that's what it says all right so if i want to move back i can right click on my mouse it moves back to the previous settings all right this is 60 percent all right, there's something else you can do. Let's say you, you have the Zoom 2 handy. Uh, click on Z. There's something called the marquee. You click and drag at a particular place. It zooms it out, all right? So it tries to center it around the page. Where, wherever you click, it tries to center it out, okay? That's how it works. If you also click a particular place, it tries to center it out too. So I go back by right clicking go back all right if you can see I'm going back and it's the page is actually not centered anymore and and it doesn't look good in my eye so I can do something like this but 
all right? Uh, I know you you want to know what that is, but I'm coming to that in a minute, okay? There's a particular hotkey you can use. Uh, what I mean by hotkey is a key shortcut you can use to choose the zoom tool, all right? So let's say I'm doing a walk here. I'm, uh, I, I choose the P2 right now. I'm doing a walk here and I don't, I don't want to um, spoil my workflow. I can click on F2 it changes to the zoom tool is a one-time use all right you can only use this zoom tool one once when you click on f2 so if i click on this f2 left click all right it zooms it out that particular place i click zooms it out okay so if i click on f3 once it zooms it out it changes back to the the tool i was using before which is a big tool so if i click on f3 it goes back to the previous place it was if I click on F4 okay send task the document to my page all right now you know it fits actually to the screen so if I press shift F4 now you see that was what I did um, previously I told you I'll show you so this is how to use the zoom tool all right the last thing I want to talk about right now is the navigator tool which is found around here, all right? See, if I hover over here, it changes to a cross sign. I don't know what that sign is, but this is a cross sign to me. <laughs> all right, so how does it work? If, as I'm hovering over it now, it's not working. Let me click on F4 to fit the screen, okay? So, as I'm hovering over it, it's not working right now. Before this tool can work, before this can work you need to zoom out to a level that you don't see everything on this page anymore you don't see it well so either when I click F2 to zoom um, okay I rather click the red later Z to zoom okay as you can see here is no more showing everything that is this is when this tool itself can work so if I go there and click it you see it shows a box here around it I can move it around and it stays on the zoom and I can do any work I want so this is very handy um, when you have zoomed to a level that you you don't want to come back and you want to stay at that level of zooming um, you can move around your document and do whatever you want to do all right so this um a little the two ways you can use the page navigation the zoom tool to navigate um, on your page and your document to make your workflow very wonderful don't forget the hot keys the F2 which is a one-time use of a zoom tool and the F3 which will uh, reverse your zoom uh, or you left click or you right click sorry to zoom out okay you can click the F4 to center your page and you can click the shift F4 all right to fit to screen all right so I hope this video helps you if you have any question you can leave me a comment below and I'll answer to it don't forget to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like this video click the like button we we'll appreciate that also very important make sure you click the bell button to get notifications of videos new videos that we're dropping see you in the next video